impressed at how many people are, are here for our session as the last one, so um, welcome. It's a pleasure for me to be here and to be with you the last few days. Um, I'm a senior vice president with Affinity Credit Union and I'm responsible for governance and community development. So I'm going to talk a little bit about Affinity, um, what we do, and some of the things that are important to us in the communities that we serve. And since I have some Affinity members in the, in the audience today, they'll keep me honest. <laughs>
So if we went to our delegates and we said that XYZ Credit Union wishes to merge with us and we've met with them, we've done the due diligence and we're recommending that, if they said no, it would be their decision to say that. So they are truly uh, the decision maker of part. And they're involved with the change of branch manager in their district, they're involved in the selection process. Because what we know is the fit has to be there. Our Home Start program is a 
partnership with the city of Saskatoon, and it was it was truly groundbreaking in terms of how the city thought about affordable housing. And we met with them over a period of time. And in this program, the uh,
striking in many ways in comparison to what Affinity is doing. And, and I would have to say that in, in terms of our province and across Canada, the work of Affinity is you know, far as come up here as compared to many of the other credit unions in the Montgomery region. You can look at it in a more pan-Canadian type of view. And, and there, I know that there are others who are similar to what uh, Affinity is doing, but um, not many that would have the same level of engagement in the variety of ways that Affinity does. So we have some variation in the credit unions that we're looking at. Which we are, we're also hoping is, is useful uh, because there's great variation across the country. Until, of course, that one day when there's one credit union left instead of the many that we have. Um, in order to test its relevance to credit unions, of the, these, these indicators, the relevance of these indicators to the various credit unions, we took it out uh, initially to the smaller credit union and we sat down. We generated a list of questions and we sat down with managers and the board members and we said, this is what the literature says, uh, the ways in which we should measure different types of activities. These are the different types of things uh, that we might categorize as being, uh, as having impact on community. These are ways that we could get at measuring it. What do you think? Um, and I'm going to show you a bit of um, the response to our what do you think question in a minute. But the next process then was to try to, to uh, come at it from a different way because it wasn't very satisfying to say the least. And uh, so we did some more in-depth interviewing, we did some focus group uh, interviews, we talked then to, to members as opposed to just managers and board members to take it to a, a level that was a little less engaged and perhaps not as well as before. Um, uh, 
uh, advantage is a little bit smaller. What they've done every time there's a merger, they've left a, a member relations committee in place where previously there was an existing board. And that was their effort in order to maintain the connection with the community. And their practice is also similar to Affinity in that uh, those member relations committees control a, a set of funds on an annual basis to invest or spend in their community however it is that they determine they wish to. So they have some control over their actions and uh, uh, they have total control over their decisions over a you know, finite set of funds in order to demonstrate however they wish um, the presence of their credit union in addition to the provision of services and other types of financial activities. Um, so here's advantage. We started out with them. These are the, the sets of questions that we did. And here's some of our preliminary findings. And I guess the, the major finding that we found was that uh, they, are, they were able to articulate very clearly, and again, they is board members and managers, were able to articulate very clearly what it is they do. Um, and I think this exercise for them was helpful because it got them thinking about what it was they were doing and whether or not it was valuable. But what they really weren't able to do in any way was to uh, talk about what the impact was. So these are some of the, uh, the bits of information that came out of the interviews that we were doing. It was good for them to be in the community, their donations were providing contributions. For him or her, but someone who thinks about, you know, one question or word answer. And, and, and obviously you have a lot of questions that are worth answering your research. So, uh, so we'll, we'll do some, uh, some questions. Try to keep your questions short and to the point, and then short and to the point answer so we can put more questions. So I got, I got uh, Sonia, you, and you. So to start with the computer. Sonia, you want to? Uh, yeah, it, it will be... Uh, Rambling a bit. <laughs> 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 a little bit. Yeah, I'll put it on the but first of all, congratulations to Affinity. And as we, as I was listening to what you had to say, I'm thinking, why do we need to measure anything? I mean, they, they say, you know, <laughs> that just send her around and we'll know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you cannot take two years off and we're all, we'll all be fine. <laughs> so, so you already measure, you already know, you already know we're making a difference, you're already doing what others are not. You are giving loans that, that, that you know, externalities are all there, so, so we already know or you already know, so I'm not even sure what it is you're trying to get at, quite frankly. Um, you know, what, what is it that you need to prove to whom? Uh, so I'm, I'm totally back at square one to be thinking, what are you trying to do? Um, so I'd like to answer that, and, and in that answer, you could include mergers. How are, why are they happening, and, uh, and what are you doing about them? And to your question on governance and are people affected, time use came to my mind as I was listening to you. Time use research, which is follow people and ask them every hour to log what they're doing. And then you go and you see what they were up to for a month. And you see how many things they participated in and where they were involved and so on. So there's kind of, kind of the research that maybe the data is already collected because Canadian researchers are in this field. Uh, Andy Harvey in Halifax has done a lot in Canada. So I don't know what province he was in and what data was collected when, but it could be your members who have done time with logs already. So that makes sense. Okay, you got three questions in. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> who wants to? Uh, well, let them start. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll, go, I'll start with mergers because it fits with the answer to your first question. Mergers um, are not going to slow down anytime soon, primarily because of the regulation. For any credit union under 100 million, the regulation and the compliance needs are horrendous. So they're going to look for a partner. Um, Affinity is a, one of the alternatives that they will have in Saskatchewan. Because Saskatchewan is the hot button of the economy in Canada and on the world map, our growth is not going to slow anytime soon either. So both of those things are going to continue to happen. In fact, I have four credit unions that will go to the members this fall to join us January 1st. And there are more knocking on the door. So that's going to continue to happen. What happens is, and I'll say this in my outside voice, but if you repeat it, you're in big trouble. Um, if every credit union in Canada felt about community the way Affinity did, as, as 
legacy Saskatoon Credit Union, I wouldn't need Kira. But I need Kira because I don't want to treat my new family members any different than I treat my old ones. And I've had some time to build in the belief that what you do in the community is what makes you different. Credit unions that are smaller than us that come to us, they think it's, fine, it's sponsoring the local rent, and it's not. It's doing things that change the lives of members. So it takes a while to get everybody on the same page. So I spend half of my life, or if you ask George Keeter, he spends half his life defending what we do in the community. So when I walk into our budgeting process, for example, and I say, I want $650,000 to spend in the community, the rest say, why? We are so well known in the community, Linda, that we don't need to do this anymore. We're not going to get anything out of that investment. So that's why who's going to bring me these magic numbers? <laughs> externalities that uh, CSR credit unions um, uh, I guess promotes uh, just a, maybe a suggestion or a question is just uh, in the survey you did you're, you're asking importance for all of these options maybe for as a control variable you might want to ask um, performance like if they actually feel like affinity credit union is doing well performing in its um, certain programs and certain aspects because if they don't think it, they're performing well, they might um, say that it's more important, or if they say that they're performing very well, um, they might not care about the importance. Um, and so you can get like a grid, and it'll show what's important and what's... Yeah, that's uh, a good idea. I, that's something that we couldn't do in this month, because they're already asking questions about the performance of products and 
products and services. So, but just come back to you, what we wanted to do was to put up a survey that would ask questions about are you aware or do you know that and how important is it to you that they do such and such. Mm -hmm. So to get at exactly level of understanding as well as degree of importance. Yeah, well, I, that's just to add to that, I'm just, um, when you ask someone how important, um, like an individual who's not necessarily um, engaged in um, community aspects, um, if you ask them about products and rates and services, and then you follow up, uh, if you asked it after, um, whether they agree that um, like supporting your community or doing social service programs or community economic development is important, um, they might end up saying that they think that um, products and services and rates are way more important than anything else. Um, and that's just the way our society is, and I'm sure um, somewhat in Saskatchewan with a like shift towards individualistic perspectives, um, they might you might find that they're slightly lower on the scale. <coughs> so you might have to control for that when you're doing the analysis. Just some thoughts. Uh, I guess uh, just a couple of comments. Yes. <laughs> uh, we, we run a community involvement survey, Credit Union Central Canada, which asks credit unions about what they're doing with the community. So it might be interesting when you develop this tool to start thinking about maybe integrating elements of that down the road. It's just an observation and also... So this is one that goes to the credit unions? Goes to the credit unions themselves. So if they had the tool, maybe it would be easy to use that. It's just something to pop um, And then my, my question is really, uh, Linda, I guess, I'm, I'm really interested in how the federated, how your structure came about, your government structure. How, what was the discussions that led to that? Because it's not universal, obviously. It's kind of unique. So, what, 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 was the, what were the ingredients that got you there versus other things? We changed our governance structure in the first merger between Saskatoon Credit Union and two smaller credit unions that joined us. And I said at that time, our challenge as we grow is always to remain small. So how can we do that? And it's not enough just to have a member relations committee. They have to have some meat, they have to have a job to do, and they have to be engaged. So we began, we walked down the road of a district council. And I guess that was six years ago, and I can remember people telling me that this will be way too expensive for the credit union. It's not going to be worth your while. And today our governance model is less expensive than most of our peers. And we had almost 700 people come out to AGMs, which isn't where I want it to be more than that, mm -hmm. but that's good. So that tells me that it's working. So I wanted to ask you to elaborate. Our annual meeting. Annual general meeting.